people have been asking me, Keenan, how do I buy stocks on Moomoo? How do I buy options on Moomoo? You've been telling me so much about how they have unusual options activity. They have level two data. They have all of these great tools for veteran investors to use, but I don't know how to use the app. Now, new investors, you can use this too, and I'll show you how to do it nice, quick, and simple. You ready for this? If you use the link pinned to the top comment, you're gonna get a promotion page pop up that says you can get 10 free stocks up to $2,500 in value, but five free stocks with any deposit at all. Now again, if you use that link, you're gonna get some free stocks. I'm gonna get compensated on that too. You don't have to use my link. It's more important to me that you have access to these tools and know how to use it and understand it. I'm gonna show you right now how to buy a stock and how to buy an option on Moomoo so the confusion is gone. If you appreciate that, hit the like button and put a 100 in the chat. Let's talk about it. Click the link, again, you see the promotion. Once you click on this orange where it says open an account, you're gonna have to sign up for one. Now, you click on that orange, it says open account and get $3, but then all of the other promotions will fall through as well. Now, it says this, Moomoo, put your email, put your password. Go through that, it's gonna ask you next, where are you getting taxed? When you buy a stock or buy an option, you are actually playing with ownership of a company. You either buy an ownership or leveraging that ownership of a company. So, long story short, you gotta let the government know where are you being taxed because you legally own these companies when you buy stock. Okay, once you go through signing up, you're gonna have to put some money on the account. Now, it's gonna cost money to make money. You gotta deposit money into your own account and then you use that money to buy into companies or buy into options that you will own and they'll be on Moomoo. Once you got your deposit through, check this out. What you're gonna see now is you're gonna open it up and it's gonna have the watch list. Now, the watch list is just showing you which stocks are hot right now, which stocks you might have clicked that you want to just look at. You look at Tesla is 816, okay. Futu is 44, Netflix is 220. This is just the watch list. But on the bottom, you can change from the watch list and look at the overall market. You can look at your portfolio. You can look at a heat map, screeners, many different things. You can look at the heat list, Tesla, Snapchat, Apple are super hot, okay. But what if we want to look at our own portfolio and see what's in our portfolio? You click on the next thing on the bottom right, and it says trade. This is almost in the middle. Now, this account that I'm using, for example, has $108.86 on it. When you look all the way at the bottom, you can see that this account has GoPro in it, and it has 23andMe in it. But what if you want to buy a new stock? Then you click on the very top right, you'll see a magnifying glass. Remember where that magnifying glass is. This is how you look up any stocks and how you buy the stocks and buy the options. So we click up and we click on this magnifying glass at the very top. Now, we're gonna type in a stock that we're thinking of. Let's go with Apple, A-A-P-L. That's the ticker symbol for Apple or the symbol that they go by on the stock market. Now it's telling us quote, and then orange, it says AAPL, that's Apple. The quote is going to tell us what price is it going for. So we click on it. And then it says, quotes is underlined in orange. Under that it says AAPL, which is also Apple. It's telling us when the market was open, it was 154. And it says in red, it came down a little bit on the day. But all you need to know to buy this stock, now that we found it using the magnifying glass, is on the bottom left, we're going to click trade. And then it's showing us. We're using a margin account at the top. It's showing us the symbol is Apple that we're looking at. And then it's also showing us the order type. It says limit. What we're gonna do to keep it simple is click on that limit and then change it from number one, which is limit, to number two, which is market, which means we're gonna buy it at whatever price the market is selling it for this example. And then under market order now, the order type, we're gonna go to quantity. How many of these do we want? Do we want one? That'll be 153.93. Do we want two? That would be 307. Let's say that we wanted two. Now we're going to click buy, the green button on the left. We click on buy, and then you type in whatever code that you had set up for Moomoo. And then you will now own one share of Apple stock on Moomoo. Let's go back, way back. I'm using the symbol on the top left. I'm clicking back, back, back. Now that I'm back to where I see it says trade on the bottom. Now what I'm gonna do is use the magnifying glass again and let's try to go and buy an Apple option. If you need to replay any of this video, go ahead and do so. We're gonna go on to buying options. So let's say that we wanted to buy an Apple option. We're in the search bar, we click the magnifying glass. Now look at my search history. You can see AAPL is in there, I looked up Apple. But you could also see US Heat Ranking, another tool on Moomoo was showing you the hottest stocks of the day when the market was last open. Tesla was one of the hottest, Snapchat, and then Apple is number three. 
But again, we can type in Apple, even the word A-P-P-L-E, type it in, you click Apple. Now notice we're back at that page where we bought the stocks. So when we click on the bottom where it's in orange on the left, you can buy the stock, but we don't want to buy the stock here. We're thinking that we're going to look at options. Let's say that we thought Apple was going to zoom past 160. It's at 154 right now, according to this. So what we're going to go is to the options and look for a 160 strike on Apple, buy that strike, and then make some money on the way up. So now where it says quotes, and then you see to the right of quotes, it says comments, news. We're going to slide past all of that and go to options. Now, what we see is on the left, under the word news, it says chains. So where it says chains, we're looking at all of the options chains. This is why it says all and then call and then put. We don't want to see all. We just want to see the call option. So we're going to click on the word call. Now that we've clicked on call, we can see the strike prices of the options. So with those strike prices, we have 147, 148, 149. Remember, we're looking for 160. So we're going to go and scroll all the way to 160, the 160 strike. And then we see the bid. We see the ask. We're looking across. And then we see the price. It says 1. 1.34 we're going to click on 1.34 now we are in that option the 160 strike and it costs 1.34 in the options world it's going to cost us 134 dollars for one contract now if we wanted to buy this at this price we go to the bottom where it's in orange on the left and we click trade then we see the order type we see the price we see the quantity let's say that we wanted one it will cost us 134. Let's say they wanted two of these contracts, it will cost us 268. We can go and buy it by clicking the buy button. And then we type in our password for the Moomoo Moo app that we set for ourselves. And then we can go back, back, back on the top left. And we can go to trade. And if I was to buy the Apple stock in the Apple option, then it would go and populate in my positions where I have GoPro and 23andMe. The reason you don't see it here now is because this is the weekend when I'm making this tutorial and I can't buy the stocks or the options while the market is closed. So that's how you go and do that. But let's say that you wanted to use some of those tools to see what are the big dogs doing in this play? How are they trading it? I'm gonna show you two tools right now. First tool again, let's go back and let's check out Apple. So to go to our search magnifying glass, we're gonna click Apple, it's the number three on the US heat ranking list. So I'm gonna click that. Then, now the first thing I'm gonna show you is the level two data. This is when you're on the Apple stock and you just scroll, 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 and then you'll see green on one side, red on the other side, and you can see the orders in which people are buying them and selling them. So all the way on the left, what you can see is there are five shares, right? We're looking at the green. There's five, then 10, then 500, then 15. We can see all of the different prices that people are trying to buy Apple at. So they're trying to buy five shares of Apple at 153.90. And then you look one under that, they're trying to buy 10 shares of Apple at 153.87. They're trying to buy 500 shares of Apple at 153.87. 87 right under that order so there are multiple orders and then on the other side you can see if the sales are coming in so let's look at that they're trying to sell 99 shares of apple at 153.92 so what we do with this is we ask ourselves are there more buy orders coming in or more sell orders coming in and in this case it appears that the sell side if you were to add all those numbers up there are great amounts of sales but not too much more than the buys but coming in on Apple. So that's the level two data where you can see that the highest one on the right is 600. The highest one on the left is 500. And then you look and compare, there are more 100s. I see one, I see two, and I see a 99. There are more sales coming in. This is going to drive the price of Apple down, which makes it more likely to come down and you can buy puts and make money like that. Now let's go and let's check out the options, the unusual options activity, which is basically showing you if the big dogs in a game are selling or buying call options, selling or buying put options. You go to options at the very top again, where you're going to trade. But now remember, we don't want to look at the chains when we want to buy our options. We want to go to the unusual activity. So now I'm looking at the unusual activity and I can see this. As of July 22nd, last open the market day, we see that there's red for long put and then short put, we got green. So on that day, 
we have one red, we have one green, one green, one red, one red, one red, one red. There's a lot of bets against Apple that are coming in. So we saw on the level two data, there was more selling than buying. And then we see over here on the unusual options activity that the big, large buys, I'm talking 50,000, 100,000, million dollar calls and put options being put in by institutions. They're betting mostly against Apple, at least on the last trading day. Not for a long term bet against Apple, but just to get in, get up and get out and make some money like that. So then you can use these tools to say, hmm, how are the buy orders or sell orders coming in? Which one is doing more numbers? Which one is taking over? And in this case, on level two data, we can see more sales. And then how are the institutions playing it? We can see that they're basically going red. They're betting against the company. So you go and you use this information to inform you when you're buying options or buying a stock and trying to get a good price. If you appreciate this video, put a 100 in the chat. If you want me to do a follow up and teach more on Moomoo, also let me know in the comments. I did this for y'all. I appreciate y'all. And if you can't do the heat of these hot stocks and stay out of the kitchen, consider investing in index funds. I love y'all. Take care.